going to stick a few floating pants, floating pants, yeah, <laughs> floating plants in here before we're done. Looking good, looking good. Got a nice layer, gets a little taller at the back. I think we're going to make it a bit deeper. Uh, I'll see what I do. <laughs> I'll see what I do. I removed most of this other gravel that was in there, or sandy stuff. There's still some in the bottom, you can you can see it there, kind of. Yeah, you can see it there. I didn't feel like removing it all. I also used the rest of, you know the gravel I used in the jar area? Um, and also in the 10 gallon. I removed, I put the rest of that gravel underneath this. I was gonna mix it, but now it's, it's lost, so. <laughs> Uh, maybe you can see it. Yeah, that's a bit of it right there. You, you can't even tell the difference, but whatever. Maybe I'll poke some of it up. But I'm just gonna add, I think, a bit more of this, and then we'll be good. Okay, now we got our branches going on here. Um, probably gonna get moved around as we go, but kind of like what we got going. We got some, you know, popping out of the top there. That looks cool, but just kind of leave it like this for now, and then we'll kind of figure out what we want later. But right now, what we're gonna do is actually put some leaf litter down. Now, everything's pretty much gonna float back up when we submerge it with water. What I'm going to be doing is actually uh, gluing some of these rocks here to particularly the spider wood and these two small pieces of driftwood in the middle probably. The big piece is so large that I'll probably waterlog not to, it won't take too long. We had this in a 20 long before and it waterlogged in about, I think a week. I might still glue some rocks to help with that. And then the sticks, I don't think they'll take that long, so. And I don't mind if they float, honestly, they could look cooler. So yeah, we're just gonna start putting in some leaves and then we'll check back and then I'll glue some stuff and then we'll fill it up and we'll be good to go. I gave the glass a little wipe down. It's still pretty dirty. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but um, we'll clean it better when, uh, or I guess I'll clean it better. You guys will just sit there and watch this. Um, but I'll clean it better once the water's in because it'll be easier with like an algae scrubber. Uh, we can see we got all the leaves in. Is it overkill? Absolutely, but uh, I think it's a good start. Um, I, earlier I said I wanted to do just um, water with, uh, not water with Styria, uh, and, um, fucking hell, Anacharis. No, I want to just do um, Valcinaria in the back, but I think I'm also going to add some Anacharis and some Hornwort to that. I think it'd be cool like to have a sort of jungle aesthetic like going up the back wall and then I'll have our Java Ferns there. Um, I'll put the Trident one there, I don't know, there's like the rhizome that was like this long in the 10 gallon i'm gonna stick that like somewhere on the back so you can't see it because it's just a rhizome but then hope is it'll start growing and then i'll stick some other clippings in the front and then i'll put a crypt like right there and then and then we'll just cover the top with floaters and a pothos coming down the side and then we'll stick you know we'll stick a few more plants in as we go but i think this is a really good start now this is all gonna get rearranged pretty much, as I said, once we add water, this is all gonna pretty much float up. The leaves, I can't do anything about that, but they should sink pretty quickly. The The pine cones will sink like within a day. Then I'm thinking, I think the these leaves sink within like a few days, like the two types, I can't remember what they were. The, oh yeah, the oak and the, the oak and the willow. Those guys sink in like a day. Catapa leaves usually take, uh, take like a few days. Then these other types of leaves that I found just outside, I don't know how long those are going to take. It'll be a bit of an experiment. And then our mossy wood, we'll just hope that, you know, the moss will decay and then we'll just have to gravel back that up. I like to put my finger in front of the camera because that's annoying. Uh, last thing I want to do is probably put a giant pine cone. Actually, no, the quarries all end up cutting themselves on it because they're stupid. Yeah, I guess the next step would just be to fill this thing with water. We're on a mat now. Don't know if you can see. Yeah, there you go. It's a pretty thick one. Keep this thing nice and sturdy. I should have filled this up beforehand to check if it could hold water, but we're just gonna pray, I guess. And um, I've glued a bunch of rocks to the driftwood, so hopefully it doesn't float. Obviously the leaves are gonna float, but uh, now I'm just gonna start filling this guy up with water.
small progress update here. Obviously all the leaves are floating, that was to be expected. Our wood is all starting to float, but the main pieces seem to be sticking down. Uh, we've got a crypt in here, along with our trident, java fern, rhizome. You can see the glue, which I'm hoping will hold. Uh, the spider wood, I had glued to some rocks. You can see they broke off pretty quickly. Um, I'm kind of just using, it, it is, it's it's being uh, sunk just by rocks cleverly placed on like the root-ish bits. Um, it doesn't look too good, honestly, but I mean, it'll waterlog itself. And then I'm hoping that piece stays waterlogged. And yeah, that's just sort of a general update. We got the filter in here with the pothos, and I don't put the light on when I'm filling it up. I just have it. I just put it on for the for the video. I'm definitely liking how this is looking though. We're off to a good start here. It has helped me visualize more. I mean, maybe it's because the leaves are floating up, but maybe it's without the black background too. But I do think I want more plants in here than I originally thought. I don't know. We'll have to see once the leaves are down and once the tannins start taking effect. Definitely think a pleco would be cool in here. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments if anyone actually watches this. All right, so as you expect, well, most of the wood floated up, but I mean, it still looks pretty cool up there. Uh, obviously, it'll look a lot better when all the leaves are down here and we get more of the plants in. Uh, now, I want to start running the filter here. That'll be our little moment of truth, I guess. We're going to turn on the filter. And I'm going to get a power bar for all this at some point. Just right now, we're not. So that's the filter. Okay. The filter just needed a good cleaning. Um, so now that's working. So I think we're gonna add some floating plants and then fill it up to the top so that this noise doesn't make me need to piss all night. But yeah, we're definitely off to a good start. And my room is a mess now. Oh well. Sweet. Alright, there's everything fully set up. We've got our crypt. We've got our water lettuce here. I've tried to remove all the pond snails and I'm hoping I succeeded. I just don't really want any snails in this setup. I'm fine with them in literally every other thing. I'm fine with them in the bowl, the jar area, and the 10 gallon, the 9 gallon, the pond. That's all fine, but don't really want any in here. I think I want to keep it kind of just fish and I kind of want to put a sweet potato like back here I don't know if that's even gonna be possible like, I don't know if it will be able to be like held by itself filter is working it's a little but I'll get used to it I do need I like why my that I like my white noise to sleep uh, I got some red root floaters in here some salvinia Whatever those little boys are, I have no idea what those are. And of course our water lettuce, which is directly under the light. It's like in that. We got our pothos. We got our pothos back there. And then, you know, everything sort of floated up, but once all the leaves sink and the tannins start to take effect, it should look a little better. And I'm not sure what's going to be in this video or the next one. I haven't really decided in the... Like, obviously I haven't started editing yet, but um, I'm going to be getting, I'm going to be going to the school tank, which I will show either in this video or the next video. Again, we'll find out. And I'm going to be getting a, a larger crypt. I'll probably put it back there. Maybe some bacopa for the corner. And there's a sword for now. I'll debate if I'm going to take it. And then we'll just chuck some val in here and we'll be good to go. So, uh, yeah. Now we fade away to either the end of the video or the next one. Oh, actually, before we do that, yeah, it looks pretty cool in the dark. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. I hate the blue light. I don't know why people like it. <laughs>